Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And today I have for you the Lego EV3 Pinball Machine. I was, I've just been loving pinball ever since I was a little kid. Uh, my brother and I would like take these cardboard boxes and try to make like, we would use markers to kind of use as flippers. For those of you that don't know what pinball is, let me show you a picture real quick. I know some of you are like, hello, we don't know what pinball is. Some of you, I've been getting in trouble lately for assuming that people know things. And then I'm looking like, hey, why did you assume we knew that? So for those of you, again, that's pinball. And I'm thinking to myself, I can take the EV3 and the Spike Prime and some inventor pieces and put that all together to make a pinball machine. So what I want to do today is show you what I built um, I know I'm not going to have all the bells and whistles like flashing lights and sounds like, an, I mean, I could, but I wanted to just kind of get the basic concept or idea of pinball and try to put that into a robot. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay, so guys, it's going to be so cool. It's one of those projects where, you know, you have it in your mind. And I don't know if you guys have ever had a big giant fail. Like you're in your mind going, yeah, that's what I'm going to build. And then it's just like, Boo! and then the whole thing just falls apart. And you're like, why did I even think about that in the first place? But this was one of those successes where I had it in my mind. I tried to put everything together and I'm like, no way this actually came together. So what I'm going to do is show you how I built it, show you the program, and then definitely show you how this thing can be a lot of fun. Okay, everybody, so there it is. That is the Lego EV3 Spike Prime and Inventor Pinball Machine. So what I did is I, I was thinking I needed some type of big platform for the ball, you know, to kind of bounce around. So that's where the cool Spike Prime, the two yellow ones, and this teal colored base plates really came in handy. And so... And then I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to need some flippers. So these cool Spike Prime, I mean, they, you know, the EV3 has these too, but I wanted it to be bright enough to show up. So these are my flippers and then the EV3 large motors. And then I thought, okay, you know how in real pinball you have that thing where you pull back and the ball shoots up. I didn't quite think of how to do that. So this is going to be my kind of my ball. And what's going to happen today is in the program, this thing is just going to drop the ball into the, like that. Um, and then I have some black connectors to just kind of make it harder for the ball to come down. Uh, let me show you the back here. I needed this to be on an incline, so I have those biscuits. I tried to actually use an, another set of biscuits, but it was making the base plates here too steep and the ball was coming down really quick. So I was like, whoa, let me chill out and not put so many of those biscuits. So that, that offers the incline. And um, I'm using two touch sensors here to make the flippers uh, flip up and down. So what I wanna do is, I think what would be cool is to show you how this works and then I'll show you the program for those of you that might want to check this out. So the program makes a lot more sense. So let me um, go ahead and show you how this works. Okay, everybody. So here is how this is going to work. Um, I'm using the red ball from the inventor kit. And what I'm going to do is put the ball into this little setup I have here. When I start the program, I'm going to have this medium motor. It's going to drop the ball in. And then, like I said, I'm going to be using these two touch sensors to make the flippers go up and down. So in the program, when I show you the program, when I touch the touch sensor, it's going to make the this flipper go up a certain amount of degrees. And when I let go, it automatically makes it go back down again. So let me quickly show you this. And if the ball like totally goes down, sorry, it's just one of those, you know, I never know exactly how I'm going to do. So here we go. So there's the ball. 
And there's some things to still be worked out, like the ball does get caught. Oh, okay. So let me try that again. Sometimes I'm really good and sometimes I'm not. Trying to get the ball up there. Whoa! Okay. I don't think if I had made this any higher that the ball would not have flipped out like that. Okay, so let's try this again. Come on, Mr. Hino, make the ball stay up there longer. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that's one thing that I'm trying to figure out is sometimes the ball does get stuck up there. So if I just stop the program and release the motor. There we go, doing better. So that's something I'll probably have to work on is how do I get some flashing lights or some sounds to come out. I probably could have uh, programmed some sounds, but it's just fun to, to get this ball to go up and down. There we go. Oh. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the program for the pinball machine. Okay, so here is the pinball program. Um, it's super easy, so let me just go ahead and go through it step by step. Um, the first block here is going to be a weight block. It's just going to give me three seconds for this B motor to rotate to drop the ball in, the pinball. And so that's going to um, lead right into uh, a weight block for the touch sensors. So you can see that the touch sensors I have plugged into one and four. And so when each of the touch sensors are pressed, um, you can see that the A motor here is gonna be at 50% power and it's just gonna go 90 degrees. And you can see how as soon as it goes to 90 degrees, it comes back 90 degrees. Um, you can see the negative and then the positive. And then the same thing with the D motor down there at the bottom here. You can see how when I press the four or the touch sensor that's plugged into four, the D motor will go up 90 degrees and then come back down 90 degrees. And then the whole thing is just looped. So, you know, until I stop the program, anytime I press the touch sensors, the flippers will hit the pinball. So that is basically the pinball program.
okay guys, so I just, I know it's not perfect. I know it's not like the real pinball machine in the arcade, but it's pretty close. And I had a lot of fun just being able to use the flippers to get the ball up. And yes, it would be very cool if I could figure out a way to get the ball to hit something and make a sound or, you know, things like that. But still working on it, still trying to figure out how I can do that. So if you guys have any comments or advice or suggestions, hit me up in the comment section. But I thought, hey, not too bad for, you know, I don't know how long it took me, maybe an hour or two to just put it together, trial and error. I was pretty happy with the program to get the, you know, the flippers to go up and down. Having the ball get caught is something that I'm still trying to figure out how do I not have that happen. But it's just a work in progress. I think for today, I really liked it. And so who knows, in the future, I might have a pinball machine number two where I do make some improvements. I know I wish I could get my hands on a, more of those base plates. I was thinking about something bigger, um, you know, just to take up more space. But for right now, you know, that for all I have, that was pretty good. So, yes, I am patting myself on the back. Okay, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this pinball machine. I really like bringing you guys things that are in real life that we can make from the EB3 Spike Primer Inventor. So you can kind of see a, a mini version, a scaled down version. And it's just really neat to be able to say, hey, robotics can make something that we see in the real world come to life right where we are. So who can beat that? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missing Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.